Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidhi and uh, you're actually watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. Uh, but this is one of the questions that a lot of you have been asking me recently and uh, I'm really glad that some of you actually shared uh, some, of your, some of your testimonials. And uh, from that perspective, I thought I should make a video where I can tell you a little bit about uh, height. A video where I talked about what is the required height uh, if you want to become a cabin crew for a certain airline so go ahead and check that video out but in this video I wanted to touch a little bit on the height itself uh, the questions that most of the times you all ask me is uh, can I increase my height uh, if I'm already an adult uh, well uh, I'm gonna give you a very very scientific explanation today I'm gonna read it off my mobile here uh, because I did some research uh, I don't want to give you any wrong information here now uh, let's understand that uh, usually uh, we don't grow any taller after a certain age so the reason why our height stops increasing uh, is because uh, of our bones uh, specifically the growth plates now uh, we all have growth plates uh, that are the areas of the specialized uh, cartilage near the end of your long bones and increase in height primarily happens due to lengthening of these long bones uh, as long as the growth plates are active and open but what happens is near the puberty or uh, when you're experiencing hormonal changes which is usually at the end of your teenage years and when you're about to get into your adulthood phase uh, which is basically around the age uh, of 16 in women and uh, somewhere around the age of uh, 14 and 19 in men, uh, these growth plates uh, basically uh, close. Uh, let me be honest here. One of the reasons I my height is 167 centimeters is because my dad was really tall. My mom is relatively tall. Uh, but uh, again, uh, height uh, has a lot to do with genes. Uh, what uh, the, the height of your parents and all these things does make a lot of difference uh, but having said that I do want to tell you guys here that as teenagers there is a lot that you can do to actually uh, boost your height especially in your growing years when you're teenagers I'm not going to touch uh, into that a lot because I know most of my viewers are not teenagers but just in case if a teenager is watching this I thought uh, he could benefit he or she could benefit uh, so uh, first and foremost remember it's very important to have a good balanced diet uh, nutrition is very very important when it comes to your height uh, exercise is very very important having a very active and a healthy lifestyle uh, by exercising does make a lot of difference uh, stretching goes a long way and a lot of times sports and exercise uh, does not give us the stretch that the body needs to basically lengthen the bones uh, so I definitely recommend yoga there are a lot of exercises that are mentioned on the internet you can go ahead and take a look uh, and number four, sleep is very, very important. So uh, when you're growing up, make sure you have good enough sleep because uh, that's the time your body kind of uh, rejuvenates. Number five, practice good posture. Uh, now, this is something that you can actually do as adults as well. And I'm going to get into it in a very, very short while. And I'm going to talk about how practicing good posture can basically make you appear uh, taller. And for that matter of fact, when you go for a lot of interviews uh, for the airlines, when you have to do a reach test, which means that you have to... Uh, uh, put your arms up and you have to reach a certain line so to be able to reach uh, those lines how you can go ahead and uh, expand your body a little bit so uh, you do not fall short on the reach test because a lot of airlines don't do height tests they only do reach tests uh, but unfortunately a lot of airlines do height tests and reach tests and a lot of airlines only do height tests so uh, as an adult uh, as I was just telling you it's very very difficult to actually increase height after a certain age and now we're going to talk about adults uh, However, from the testimonials that uh, people have shared with me, uh, there was one person who'd been very kind enough to tell me that uh, she went for an interview and uh, her height was 157.2 centimeters and uh, she did swimming for a very long time and that actually basically helped her to reach uh, the goal of uh, appearing taller and when she went for the interview after a few months, uh, the height reading actually was 158 centimeters and she was actually able to give the interview. Uh, the other person who shared a similar experience told me that uh, when she went for the uh, interview with Singapore Airlines uh, they had to do a reach test and uh, you could see in the pictures that I've shared in my Instagram and my uh, YouTube right now uh, she is barely able to reach the line but then uh, 
after what she did uh, she continued to actually do a lot of, lot of stretching exercises which helped to decompress her spine and uh, that's how she was able to reach uh, that line after uh, a few months so this is what you can do as an adult things that I want to share with you that you can do as an adult to appear taller uh, because appearing taller is something that can help you sometimes uh, to reach that uh, test if you're short by very 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 few centimeters one swimming you can see that this person actually Actually got a, a good result from swimming so you could try that uh, number two you can do a lot of stretching exercises third thing that I wanted to share with you guys is good posture uh, good posture is a very very big uh, help in basically appearing taller because uh, a lot of people that I meet usually uh, sit like this or when they talk they talk like this and at the end of the day when they actually stand to do their height test because of the habit of you know uh, just uh, slouching all the time they appear shorter so uh, I'm gonna talk about what you can do in terms of making sure uh, that uh, you have good posture all the time or sitting always sit with your spine erect uh, so when you're standing, especially when it comes to uh, making sure that you have good posture all the time, which will help you decompress your spine and uh, keep you stretched, is uh, to not stand like this. Don't stand stand lopsided uh, with your hand, uh, arms hanging just like that. Uh, make sure you stand straight. Uh, your shoulders are not slouching like this. Uh, your spine is erect. Again, your neck, uh, your neck is not like this. If you're short by just like very like point up uh, two or three centimeters because just by uh, decompressing your spine or the discs in your spine sometimes you can give the length to your body i really hope that this uh, answers your questions uh, especially to a lot of those who've been asking me about uh, increasing your height also all of you know that i do a lot of online coaching uh, I, I do personal coaching so if you want to crack that uh, cabin crew interview and if you want my assistance please go ahead and get in touch with me the details to reach out to me uh, through my website are mentioned below so yes, if you find this information helpful, please go ahead and share it with other people. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to press the notification bell for more video updates. And in the meantime, all of you out there, remember to stay pretty, stay handsome, and I love you guys. Bye.